Hello, this is the reading of John chapter 15. This chapter is entirely in the words of Jesus. Let's dive right into it. I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears more fruit. For without me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yet, because you are not of the world, but I choose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they also will keep yours. But all these things they will do to you for my name's sake, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would have no sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no one else did, they would have no sin. But now they have seen and also hated both me and my father. But this happened that the word might be fulfilled which is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. But when the Helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. And you will also bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. May God bless the reading of his word. Let's do a quick recap. So remember the question I asked in John chapter 13 reading. We see here that Jesus defined, what Jesus, Jesus defines as love, which is laying down one's life for one's friend. That is what he calls greater love. Then we also see in verse 3 that the spoken words of Jesus makes clean. Also, there are some principles here for receiving from Jesus and the Father. The first is that we should abide in Jesus and let the words of Jesus abide in us. Then the second is that the fruit that Jesus has chosen and empowered us to bear should remain in us. God bless you.